So yeah, that's all we've got for you. We got, managed to get Pyra and Mithra in Smash Ultimate. We remade the Generation 4 games. I know a lot of people have been clamoring for that. And also, we got DC Superhero Girls! People like that series, right? Uh, I mean... Sure? Other than that, uh, I'm actually pretty hyped for this year for you guys. I mean, uh, I didn't think Pyro would ever make it in. I thought, I really didn't think that she had a chance. Not trying to degrade her, but uh, in a sense, she never really crossed my mind. But the Generation 4, that is something I'm actually most hyped for towards to. I managed to get into the Pokemon series thanks to Generation 4. I'm actually pretty excited to see where this goes. But we are so happy to hear that. Our team has been working very hard in order to make everyone here happy. I just can't wait to see what- LIES! Um... Is something wrong? Is everything alright? You know goddamn well everything is not alright! Let's start off with Pyra, alright? Who in God's name wanted her? Wanted her and Mithra? Nobody did, that's who! Uh, what are you talking about? Pyra, along with Rex, was one of the most requested characters to be in a Smash leaderboard. Are you sure it's not you who didn't want Pyra in Smash? Are you fucking with me? Are you serious? I did not want Pyra, at least not like that, alright? I wanted Pyra for a nice thick body! Okay, so you want a pirate in for disgusting reasons. Got it. Oh, but Sakurai did her dirty! Instead of giving us the big titties that we wanted, she actually made her like Roy and she could transform into Shake! Hey yo, uh, mind if I actually throw my two cents into this? Hey yo, who the hell are you? How'd you get in my house? Ever heard of social distance thing? Uh, yeah, I'm a genuine Xenoblade Chronicles fan. I, I for one, am actually happy that Pyra managed to make it into Smash. We would be fine with any character. I mean, I've played the games, I've seen the lore. It's not just about the fan service, it's actually about genuinely how great the story is. So the, I highly recommend it. Unlike this guy, we are genuinely, legitimately happy that Pyra managed to make it in. Not like this pervert who probably has never played Xenoblade a day in his life. Regardless, uh, I, uh, TLDR, I'm happy for Pyra. Highly recommend it. I'm a Xenoblade Chronicles 2 fan. Peace. All right, all right, all right, whatever. But I'm upset about the Pokemon games, all right? The graphics is garbage. The models are horrible. Uh, buddy, you do realize that it's just a 3D rendition of this whole thing. Like, that's a point of a remake. We did the literally exact same thing with Link's Awakening. And you're just gonna complain about this? I mean, how would you like it if they gave Steve a 3D rendition, huh? That doesn't sound like you got idea now, does it? Oh my god! We can't fucking win with you, alright? We gave you what you wanted, and now you're all just throwing a tantrum! It's like a child throwing a tantrum for not getting a cookie, but he throws another tantrum when he does not get the cookie that he wants! We're doing what we can! We do what you ask! For God's sake! Nintendo is right. Why beg for something when you're just gonna complain about it? How about you just be happy that Nintendo decided to listen to the fans? And people will say we didn't want this. There were just the people who never spoke out in the first place. So just enjoy the game. You don't have to enjoy them all. No one's putting a gun to your head and forcing you to enjoy it. Just don't get angry at Nintendo for trying to help us achieve our dreams. What happened when we get a new F-Zero game? Are we just gonna lambast Nintendo out of that? It's a racing game, how can you screw that up? Make it edgy? Why don't you just realize that what you're asking for can possibly come true? There is no need for you to go insane or throw a tantrum, get angry about it on Twitter. 
because Nintendo's trying their best. They're trying their hardest. They're trying to appease to the audience. They have all these neglected IPs and they're giving us some that we clearly needed. And it's not the neglected IPs, but IPs that could be available in one of the biggest crossovers in video game history going so far as to win the, the game awards. So instead of just getting angry, just be thankful that Nintendo decided to give us what we wanted. And if there's any other company that does even more than that, I can't really think of any. So for now, be thankful for what you have. And be thankful for what Nintendo has given us. You're right. You're right, I'm sorry. It's just, I have these big standards. I just thought Nintendo could fulfill them, but they're still human. They can do what they can. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have lashed out at you. I am genuinely grateful for what you have done to us, what you've done for us. And we will never s complain about something that is, something that you've truly decided to go out of your way to making. We will, we don't have to enjoy these games, but we'll do what we can to see what makes it good. Thank you. You don't know how much I've done. I will continue to make good content for you. Sure, not all of them will be home runs, but we'll, we'll do what we can. We'll focus on the positive side of the Nintendo fan base because you guys believe in us and we're gonna try to avoid being EA or Activision or Konami. <sighs> wow, that, that was really nice. Okay, Nintendo, uh, while you're here, um, you think maybe you could free melee? You shut your goddamn motherfucking pipe hole, motherfucker. I swear to God, I will grab a GameCube controller and shove it right up your ass.